I'm going to demonstrate how to work a speed bag. First of all, we're going to start with our right hand. Everything is done in a rotation movement. Hand-eye coordination, as the bag moves, you hit the bag, center of the bag or the sweet spot. The faster the circle, the faster the bag's going to go, the faster your hand has to move. That's how you hit the speed bag. How you switch from hand to hand is you keep both hands up, using the right. When you switch, your left is in position just to change places with your right hand. So as I switch, I'm ready to start moving with my left. Same thing when I move it to my right. I move to my right. Move to my left. Move to my right. And that's how you switch and how you start getting a speed bag. This is phase two of learning how to work a speed bag. So you've got the rhythm down, you've got the speed down, you're able to switch hands back and forth. Now we're just going to add a little different component. We're going to go different numbers per hand. And you just switch it up. You do two with your right, one with your left, three, two, one, one, and just kind of get it. So the workout has variety in it. And, and again, it helps you learn more and more coordination. Another component or another exercise using the speed bag is you're going to work the platform. You're going to go from left to right using your right hand. You're going to go uh, right to left using your left hand. And then you're going to go double, one, two, working back and forth. So kind of a demonstration is I start with my right hand. That's another way to use and work the speed bag. So in learning how to throw the hook on the speed bag, it's important that you do all the way through follow through with your punch. If you don't, or if you don't have proper position, the speed bag is going to end up bouncing. We don't want it to bounce. We want it to thump on the platform like this. If I hit, that's wrong. But if I come through and follow through, it's going to have that thumb. So that's with the left, with the right, same thing. The good thing about this, this is more the size of a head than if you're hitting a heavy bag. So it's good working, it's moving, it's got an appropriate size, it's a lot of fun to utilize this this way. So this is another component of how to use the speed bag. This is good work so you can learn how to slip and duck and timing for hitting the bag. Again, you should hit with the hook and it should hit like the same way as we did in the previous video where it hits against the wall of the platform. Again, when it's moving, you want to go side to side to side and around through. You don't want to let it hit your front of your head. If it hits your back, that's okay. All right, so we push the bag and we move. Move, then you got to get your timing. Hit the bag again. Keep your hands up. Hands up. 